As an interior designer, my aim is to take the overwhelming job of designing your home off your plate. So the purpose of this video is not to overwhelm you. Um, so far I've been hesitant about sharing too much of what goes into a design project, um, the back end of everything, because that is my job to take it off your plate. But a lot of clients have been um, appreciating these videos or videos like them. So I thought I would go through my process. So if you'd like, you can learn more about that before we meet. Okay. The on-site consult. This is after your discovery call, after we've had a little chat over the phone, I come to your home or to the site to see what is the actual real situation. Now, I find this is invaluable because seeing the space for real rather than pictures is very different and then just seeing the light seeing there's a lot of little things that get left out so i find it really important now so i'm going to have you take me through all your dreams and desires all the things that bug you about the space and so we'll have that meeting first and then afterwards i'll show you a bit about how i work um, i'll show you design documents and the, my process again and also show you my software, some of the house rules, um, just getting that out of the way so that when we start designing, we can just enjoy and have fun and concentrate on getting the best home for you. Okay, so after that first on-site meeting, I will come back and I will write a custom project plan for you. I will hopefully give you a flat fee if I can. I try to do that as much as possible. And also we'll sign the contract and then we're good to go. So before designing any project, we need to start with the best information possible or else if we don't, we end up towards the end of the project having to go back and correct things. So what I do when I come is first, um, I'll come again to your home. This is our first um, proper design meeting. I will show you pictures to get your reaction on various ideas that I have for your space. And the best thing you can do for me is to tell me what you hate, what you absolutely don't like at all. And before I come on, to, come back to this meeting, I will um, send you a questionnaire, just always gathering more information to get you know, to know you better, okay? So then at the same time, I will do an on-site measure Nowadays, I usually like to do a 3D scan because I find 3D models are much better um, for clients to understand um, and be able to walk through the space. I will also photograph, take note of any technical information, that sort of thing. Okay. And um, after that, I either, now it depends on your project. Sometimes I will book a contractor meeting that same day to get an estimate if we're very clear of from the get-go of what we want to do. That might have calling a contractor in. I don't want to do it too many times. So I may wait until I have um, more information for the contractor. So it just depends on the job. Okay. So the first design meeting, so that was pre-design. So we had our on-site consult. Then we signed off on, on working together. Then I came back to collect more information. And now after collecting all that information, I propose to you a design concepts. Design concepts are just to confirm that we understand the style that we're doing and that we understand the budget. Now this is very helpful rather than doing a lot of work up front and finding out later that there's been some miscommunication. As well, it's a wonderful time to play with new ideas, to throw stuff around. Um, nothing is precious yet, nothing's been purchased, and just plan to have the best product possible. Sometimes a little extra work of thinking outside the box before we commit is a really good idea. So usually what I do is you'll have three, three design presentations. One, two will be I know you love and one will be some things that I thought you might have not considered. And often those things that you have not considered tend to be 
um, often be your, your the, uh, the design direction a lot, um, tend to be something we go ahead with, okay? So for here you see, um, this was just for a decorating and light construction job. So the, these, you'll have a box of samples to see. I'm a very big fan of seeing samples. I do not order online without knowing what color it is. And um, uh, just to test the waters of which one you like best, okay? And then I'll also propose an estimated budget, okay? So that it's very hard to do I mean, obviously my goal is for you to actually be able to afford what I designed for you and for it to happen in real life. So I really need a budget. I can't um, design in a vacuum. All right. So just to let you know about sourcing, um, when I source for a project, there's two types of projects I do. I do full interior design projects. Pro full interior design, which is means I'm designing and managing the project, and I do just design, which is designing the project and you end up purchasing and organizing the project yourself. Now with the full interior design, I do sourcing to the trade. And the lovely thing about sourcing to the trade is that you have so many more options. Rather than just say two blue fabrics for your sofa, you literally have two buildings in Manhattan, 14 stories high, full of sourcing. If you can picture two stories of, of, of showrooms like this of things to choose from, which is a lot different than a couple of blue things. Um, a lot of the, the sourcing to the trade are, are companies that only sell to interior designers. So you're getting it before it hits any sort of retail situation or it's where the retail store is sourced from, but it's also some are just to the trade. Now they sell just to the trade because they're highly custom projects. They're highly custom pieces and only they have very little problem dealing with designers as far as ordering the wrong thing. We are trained to specify um, when we do a to the trade item, there's a lot of paperwork involved. I have to send a purchase order over. I have to send detailed drawings over. I have to do a cutting of the fabric. There's a lot of um, work involved um, with sourcing to the trade versus retail. But I do prefer to do to the trade because I can the the choices are are a thousand a hundred thousand times more than when you source retail. Okay, so when I source a project, it's not like fun shopping at all. Um, sourcing is a lot of work. Um, when I source for a project, I think of five things: dimensions. Does it fit? So I've had done a floor plan, so I know. Style, does it reflect you? Price, does it fit the budget? Lifestyle, does it make sense for your lifestyle, i.e. if you have kids or pets? And lead time, how long will it take to arrive? Now sourcing is basically all the product, your, the kitchen cabinets, the countertops, the faucets, the furniture, the window treatments, the rugs, everything like that. So there's this whole other world um, to choose from when you work with an interior designer, which is amazing. Okay, so that's a little, and okay, so then from there, we've um, created our mood boards, we've played around some, some design concepts, and I've showed you some budgets, I've so showed you sourcing, which is either retail or to the trade, and I've presented this to you. Now from here on, we pick a lane, we pick a budget, estimated budget, and we pick a design direction. And from then I go on and I finish the job. Okay, so that's the final design stage after that. All right, so with the final presentation, it's all wrapped up neatly in a bow. You'll have your final selections, your final budget, you'll have the contractor estimates, you'll have an idea if, you're, if I'm doing it, I'll be managing your contracts, your contractors, um, rules of the home, all of that. 
if you're not working doing the implementation with me or the full service, then I'll be giving you information on how to do that yourself. Okay? So the nice thing about the, um, the um, final presentation is we still keep tweaking it. We still keep making it better. Um, your delivered product will be design drawings and a project board. You'll have a main project board linked to a Google Drive and any selections that we've made well, you can give me a final sign off um, on the board and you can also see all your budgets on this board. Okay, so that's pretty much the design stage. From here we'll have it, you would go on to the implementation stage. Okay, um, for the design wrap-up if you're not doing the implementation stage with me, I'll hand out information on how to, how to hire a contractor and how to manage the project yourself, how to prepare for installs, for instance, get, how to get ready for the contractors for when they come. Okay, so the next video is going to be all about um, project management if you're working with the Volunteer Design Project. And thank you so much for your time.